on my last Dead Cells video. Dr. Lord 108 asks what DLC I would recommend buying. I figured other people might also want to know, so that's what this video is for. So what does each DLC bring to the table? Dead Cells has two soundtrack DLCs, I'm gonna ignore those, and then five gameplay DLCs. First is Rise of the Giant. It's free and it unlocks the game's true ending and you should just go download that right now if you haven't already. Then there are the three DLC that focus on one section of the game specifically. There's the Bad Seed, which focuses on the early game. There's Fatal Falls, which is mid game, and the Queen of the Sea, which is that end game section. The Bad Seed and Fatal Falls each add two regular stages and one boss. The Queen in the Sea adds one regular stage and two boss fights. The last gameplay DLC is the Return to Castlevania DLC, which adds two regular stages, one of which is reused, so it's almost three regular stages, and three bosses. The Bad Seed and Castlevania also both have mini boss fights. Now, really, which DLC you buy is going to depend on what you want to get out of your DLC. If you want just sheer volume of content, you probably want to go for Return to Castlevania. It adds stuff to most of the game. It also adds a mini game where you play as Richter. If you just want more bosses, or if you're tired of fighting the Hand of the King, I would say go get the, the Queen C. It's got those two bosses, so it's an alternate ending that lets you skip the Hand of the King. If you have one specific area that you hate and it's terrible, and it's the worst, and you absolutely never want to see it again, just get one of the DLCs that lets you bypass it. If you just want to get every single DLC and you want all of it, Steam has the Medley of Pain bundle, which saves you about $10 on buying all of it. Plus, if you just wait till there's a sale, which it's Steam, there's probably always going to be a sale. It gets discounted even more. But all this is stuff you can just look up. It's just the facts. What is my personal opinion? Right now, I've been playing a lot of Return to Castlevania. It's, it's my favorite right now. Most of that, though, is just novelty. I only just got it, so it's all new stuff. But I do like the new stuff that it adds. It's all cool. The Bad Seed, I've got to say, is probably my least favorite. It's not bad, <laughs> but I dislike the morass of the Banished. I don't like the way it's set up. There's a lot of enemies dropping down on your head, and I really don't like the Mama Tick boss fight. Now, Queen in the Sea is probably my second favorite. I really like the Servant's boss fight. I haven't beat it yet, so I don't what the Queen's boss fight is like, but I like the way the Servant's stage is all set up. And also, it's got Leg Hugger. Like, it's Leg Hugger. It's great. So, that leaves Fatal Falls as my second to last. Again, it's not that I dislike the DLC, I just don't really, I don't find myself going there all that often. So, TLDR, find the DLC that you want, but really, you want the Queen of the Sea DLC because Leg Hugger is great and we all want Leg Hugger. I hope that was in some way helpful, and yeah, you know the drill. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time.